Peace, love, and light, y'all. So thank you guys for tuning into another La La Divine video. I appreciate y'all like, shares, and subscribes. Means the world to your girl. So I have been wanting to do for a minute a divine feminine and divine masculine read. Even if it's uh, resonated for those who are in uh, separation. But, or like the twin flame journey, basically. That's what I want to do a reading on. Just to kind of see <clears throat> what the energies are. What do they have to say to one another, etc., etc. Like, I do the comic tales and all that on uh, TikTok. So, it's kind of nice to get like a storyline to see what the energy is and go from there. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. I pray over this reading with divine guidance and wisdom. No weapon formed against me shall prosper for me nor my collective. Um, let you dec or you increase and I increase or decrease, and you allow your message to come forth to the collective that is in this twin flame journey that this message resonates for. May we get clarity, wisdom, guidance, all of that good stuff in this reading. And I pray it touches just one somebody. I share, I share, I share. Alright, so let's get started. Hmm. So as we know, <clears throat> divine feminine, divine masculine, it is a twin flame journey. And sometimes you go through periods in life where you are in separation. And you're waiting to reconcile because somebody has to learn a lesson, blah, 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 whatever. Or the masculine wants to continue, or feminine, however, resonates, want to continue to entertain garbage and dumb stuff that brings them down to their lower self and all that jazz. I just don't get it, but whatever. That ain't for us to worry about. <clears throat> Alright, so Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me the messages for the Divine Masculine? We'll do the Divine Masculine over here, Divine Feminine, and then messages in the middle. That's going to be a whole new deck. And then we're going to see what's up with the karmas too. Ooh, okay, that's the Feminine. Oh, yeah, the Feminine. So the Feminine is being told to keep an open mind. So there is... Uh, a lot of people around you that is in your ear that's trying to talk to you and, you know, get you to um, do things that they normally would do. But um, you're being told that to be to keep an open mind because nine times out of ten, your divine masculine is going to be someone who is different. Somebody who is not your expectation, somebody who keep doing dumb shit. And you're like, what? Why do I keep? You know, so it's you have a lot of people in your ear like, girl, don't do that, blah, 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 blah. But just keep an open mind because it says your soulmate may differ from your actual type and expectation. So, yeah, there's a reason you love them. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on with the mask. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, what's the energy for the mask? There we go. Honeymoon stage. So, this lets me know that some of you guys are back in union. And some of you guys are in your honeymoon stage where, you know, it's the beginning. <clears throat> You're enjoying your bliss and time together. Um, going on trips. Uh, just getting away, you know, just refreshing yourself from, you know, whatever y'all was, you know, y'all separated, you know. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, let's put another card on the feminine side. What's the feminine energy? <clears throat> Healing family issues. Haha. <laughs> so, yeah, you got a lot of people in your ear just telling you all type of things. I don't know. I feel like... <sighs> Some of you guys may have lost a child um, and you're healing from that <clears throat> or someone has passed on and like a sibling or, you know, just someone in your family has passed on and um, some of you guys are needing to forgive your parents. All right. So 
<clears throat> yeah, the masculine's in this energy of he. I feel like he got a lot of love to give. Um, because it says worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in, in his life. So I feel like he's been doing the work. He's been growing. He's been you know talking to God about his ways, and now he's seeing. <clears throat> things is changing so now it's time for him to manifest uh you know the love of his life you know all right one more message for the feminine and then we'll take this for the next all right so feminine it is safe for you to love boo you got to open your heart to give and receive in the highest energy of all. Like, I feel like some of these divine feminines want their masculine back, but tell the whole world they don't, so they in conflict with themselves if they should take them back or not. Then you take them back, and you are open to the relationship, and now you're second-guessing it. So now you're asking and bringing conflict into the relationship because you don't feel safe. Okay, and uh, for the masculine, it's saying for him to stay optimistic about his love life, you know. So I just see a lot of doubts, a lot of doubting, okay. But there is passion. That's the middle. <laughs> you guys do love each other, okay. So let's keep moving. Divine feminine, amen. to know about this union. We'll do union and then separation on one side. So for those of you that are in union, this is the energy for you two. And those of you who are in separation, this is the energy for you. So yeah, we're getting deep. We're getting to the nitty gritty today. Um, kids are sleeping for the time being. Let's hope they stay safe. Bye. Okay. All right, so for those who are in union, oh, let me put these cards down. And see you in this world. All of these ones that came out, and we'll take it. So, boom. All right. So, for those of you that are in union, I see here where um, you guys are making new memories. Um, you guys are doing a lot of affection. Um, it's in the beginning stages. You guys are just falling in love and you hang up first and all that type of stuff. <laughs> yeah. But you're scared to death, one of y'all, that somebody's going to do something stupid to cause heartbreak and separation in this in, in lies in this situation. You're afraid that it's going to be some type of stabbed in the back. Smile in your face. <laughs> So we'll get into that to see if that actually happens. So then we have the collective that's in separation. So uh, the ones in separation want to be together so bad that they're wanting to get married. They see that they have a soul connection. They want a union. Um, but they do understand that there's going to have to be some boundaries set. Some may feel as though they're still weak in those areas. Um, still trying to figure out if he's a narcissist or not, or if they should even let go or deal with the situation. Uh, because they're in this outdated thinking, and it's time, you know, to get out of this energy. Like, in order for them to come in union, there's got to be 
new thinking, new ways of thinking, okay? Uh, also, um, someone's ascending. They both could be ascending. Um, and you guys could be preparing for a union. There could be a new phase. Uh, you guys could just be going through a learning experience because uh, things are coming to light and it's time to adapt, change, and heal. Everybody's going through healing and changing right now. So, yeah, that makes perfect sense. All right. So, let's see here. Let's pull some cards. Oh, man, I got cards in this big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do some raise on mommy. Yeah. All right, so let's see what's really going on with both situations. Let's put some cards down for the hands in union and for the that's not in. Okay, I'm loving it. I like this ring already. so the ones in union it's just so much like this stabbed in the back just lets me know there's so much um <laughs> like skeptic like you're skeptical of this person you feel like um you know uh, there may be a karmic that may be spying on you trying to see if the divine masculine you, you know, you, you're trying to see if this person is still dealing with the masculine, period. You're trying to see if he's, she's still giving the money or if they're still getting money from somebody or if they're trying to use you for your money. So, yeah, you just feel like this person may stab you in the back, so you're a little bit nervous about that. Okay. All right, let's okay. keep moving. What's going on with the ones in separation? <laughs> so the ones in separation are still sleeping with other people that's why they have to go through their change and to grow to become better for themselves because number one god not gonna let them back in their life back into the divine and counterpart's life number one because they want love they want to be optimistic about their love life but at the same time you know they're still out here entertaining and dealing with being a narcissist and having outdated thinking and all of that type of stuff so yeah hmm, he's being fussy ooh so, this card keeps coming up, this backstabbing card. So, I'm thinking that, you know, just the ones in separation just feel like they're not where they need to be as far as opening their self to even want to be in this relationship at this point. Because there's so much, you know, things that need to change and need to heal, you know. This person feels like 
people are against them. So they feel like they got to go out here and backstab people in the back and cheat and just do the most. Our narcissist crap. All right, so let's see what's going on with the karmic in both situations. Because we know both the masculines had karmics. Okay. So, the karmic in the ones in the union are the ones with mental health problems, number one, because they didn't move on. I guess they didn't think that it would happen, and it happened. You know, they're actually, you know, making new memories. They are in this flirty love, even though they're skeptical, but they're, I feel like they all on Facebook, you know, posting, and they the karmic season, and all of that jazz. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, what's going on with the karmics in the Oh, so I feel like with the karmic and the divine masculine or the karmic and the feminine, however it resonates, uh they are having they're focusing on their addictions now. Um you know, having sex, drinking, pills, uh, you know, drugs, just, you know, doing the most out here, not really, you know, caring, again, being a narcissist and that out there thinking, you know, you cannot be divine counterpart. That's why I say this group over here, some of these are some karmic masculine. So, yes, yes. Uh, they're in denial about it, but yeah, they some karmic masculine. Um, most of these that's in separation have a uh, karmic that is having an abortion or, you know, pregnant, trying to get pregnant. However, uh, they got clouded judgment about this person, so they're kind of crazy. Uh, so you got to be mindful of that. I mean, there is backstabber energy here, so just be, just be careful for those of you who are in separation. Uh, because this karmic looks at the divine masculine as a sugar daddy. They make their money, they pay their bills, etc., etc. So, I mean, whenever you guys do link up and talk for the short time being, because I do see the divine feminine, you know, upset because of there's no change. Uh, they're, you know, having to just focus. Uh, they see them having drug addictions being dysfunctional, they're always arguing and divine feminine feels uh, that they come and zap their energy and all they want to do is have sex with them. So yeah, uh, makes them toxic, makes them angry all the time when they're around them, so they try to keep their distance because the divine masculine be playing victim sometimes. <clears throat> Acting like he don't be tricking and doing what he do. <laughs> Period. Okay, so that's that. Yeah. All right, let's do this last deck. These are conversations of a twin flame. Uh, conversations and secrets. So let's see what the divine feminine and the divine masculine have to say to one another. We'll do three cards. Uh oh. All right, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? I really pray that this message resonated for some of you guys because it's a lot of juicy, juicy, juicy. <laughs> juicy, juicy. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Journey ain't no joke, though. Whew. Especially when you just keep separating. All right, Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Twin Flame Journey. Oh, we'll take those. All right, so. <laughs> All right. So the, okay, the ones in Union are saying it was my fault because of my pride, I blamed you. I keep myself from you because I don't want to hurt you. I think I've done enough damage. So 
Like, I feel like whenever the divine feminine gets in that energy of feeling like they're going to be heartbroken again, I feel like the divine masculine kind of steps back because he don't want to hurt. They don't want to argue or nothing like that. But at the same time, this person is taking accountability for, you know, their actions and, you know, their pride. And now they know that in order for them to have a good relationship with you, they got to let go of that pride and, you know, keep, keep moving. All right, so now let's talk about the ones in separation. So the divine feminine, divine masculine is sending each other uh, sexual energy. They're telepathically communicating with each other. Um, they're in the waiting game. Uh, I know that I tore you apart, but the way you put yourself back together is beautiful. So the divine feminine is growing, evolving, and divine masculine is having a hard time with that. Uh, my deception to you was my fall from grace. My love, how could you still love me? So I feel like with this card, the Divine Feminine still opens her heart to him sometimes just to let her know, let him know that he cares, she cares for him, blah, blah, blah. So it says, last but not least, don't wait for me to make you happy. I will come when you find happiness within. So both of them are just in this waiting game energy and nobody's trying to make a move just yet until all of this energy is dealt with and God got to do that. So, yep. <laughs> My little ones are waking up, so I'm going to can cancel, or cancel. I'm going to close this reading out. I pray it resonated. Please like, share, subscribe. Thank you, guys. Peace, love, and light. Namaste.